everybody from around the world. This is so exciting. Uh, welcome to the launch of two new resources, uh, Assessment and Treatment Activities for Children, Adolescents, and Families, Volume 4. And we're also celebrating the launch of a new and improved bonus book that is a free resource on my website. Uh, now, just give me a moment to share my screen on a second here. Okay. So um, this book, uh, volume four, is um, obviously the fourth in a series. And the idea for this series of books really came back in 2007 when um, someone came up to me at the end of uh, a workshop that I was teaching um, and said they had a, a therapeutic game that they had developed and they would love to share it with other therapists who would find it helpful and ask for my help. And that really um, intrigued me and led to the to, to sending out an, a, an email to all my colleagues, inviting them to submit their creative ideas, ideas that would engage children, adolescents, and families um, in therapy. And I was just um, blown away by the submissions that I received from therapists from all over the world. And this led to the publication of volume one back in 2008. And I received so many amazing activities that I decided to make it a series. Um, and this latest installment, volume four, um, is hot off the press. And this fourth volume uh, has 75 therapeutic interventions contributed by therapists really from all over the world. And um, which, you know, in and of itself is so exciting. Uh, and um, it also has um, interventions for both in-person as well as online sessions, because of course, since the pandemic, many therapists have transitioned um, from seeing clients in person to online. And even though things seem to be settling down a little bit with the pandemic, some continue to see clients um, for online sessions. And, um, you know, these have been very difficult times, um, very challenging, uh, huge increase in mental health struggles. Um, and so therapists are even more challenged to, um, you know, think of ways to engage clients in sessions, to help them cope with um, all the different stressors that they're dealing with. Um, and so to have resources like this at their fingertips, fingertips, where they can, you know, find ideas um, to use with, you know, children, teens, families dealing with a, a wide variety of presenting issues is really just such, um, I think, uh, a, a much needed um, resource. And so very appreciated. Um, <clears throat> so, um, there's been a lot of buzz uh, these last few weeks uh, about the launch of this book, and I wanted to share a couple of, uh, of posts um, from colleagues, again, from all over the world. This, of course, from Paris Goodyear Brown, um, from Karen Treisman from the UK, uh, Teresa Fraser from Canada. Um, here's another from Hawaii. Um, we have Shoshana Levin Fox from Israel posting about the book, Malika Robinson from, uh, from Bermuda, Zosita, I can't, I can't, I'm gonna mispronounce it. So Titi Hadila, I think is how you pronounce it, um, from Mexico. Uh, and then I love this one. This is from Siobhan um, and Eileen, a mother-daughter duo. Uh, who both contributed uh, techniques to this book. And, and uh, Eileen, I love your slippers. So thank you for posting and from sharing your excitement about the launch um, of the book. Uh, so there are a number of people I want to thank today. Uh, but of course, I want to begin by thanking the um, amazing contributors to both the book and the bonus book. Um, and before I bring you all on screen, um, we're just going to do a scrolling thank you. So I present to you the authors from across the globe.
So I'd like to invite um, all the authors of the book and the bonus book to come on screen so we can see you all. And if all the other guests could just turn off their cameras uh, just for a little bit just so we can see all the authors and feel free to put uh, your view on gallery view so you can see everyone. Just gonna try to do that myself. Wow. So this is just so amazing. Um, I cannot thank you all enough for sharing your creative work. Um, you know, it's, it, these really are such tough times, tougher times than ever. And to have resources like this, um, to be able to, um, you know, draw from this variety of therapeutic games and art activities and puppets and nature therapy um, and um, technology therapy, you know, it's just such, uh, I think, so well, uh, you know, so needed and so much appreciated. So thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing your creative work with the world. Um, so let's everyone else come on camera and just uh, join me in giving a huge, huge shout out. Thank you to, um, to all the authors, thank you. Yay. Okay, there are some others I want to thank. So let me just go back to this view. Okay, uh, so there's a lot that goes into uh, publishing a book. Um, and when you self-publish, um, one of the really important uh, aspects to think about is having good proofreaders. Um, and so I want to thank my wonderful team of, proof, of proofreaders, Brian Bethel, Alicia Johnson, Robin Roche, Hannah Slattery, and Julia Swanson. Thank you for really um, being so um, specific um, and thorough and helping to make this book even better. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Kim, where's Kim? Can we spotlight Kim for a moment? So Kim Brasick um, is my book designer and Kim and I have been working together for I think about 14 years. Um, so she has been involved in uh, helping me to publish uh, you know, many of my books and you've been just so wonderful to work with, so creative um, and you know, just so um, you know, kind and generous with your time. So thank you, Kim, for your, um, you know, your friendship uh, and your professionalism. Thank you, Kim. Uh, Joseph Tropper from Core Wellness. Joseph, give a hello. So Joseph and I uh, first um, met fairly early on in the pandemic. Um, I, uh, he heard about a webinar that I was teaching on um, how to help children, um, how to engage children in online sessions. Uh, and he approached, to, approached me to ask if I would teach for his organization. And since then, we've worked together um, many, many times over the past few years. Um, and Core Wellness, Joseph and Core Wellness are the sponsors and the real organizers of today's book launch. So thank you, Joseph, um, for all that you've done to uh, support me. Uh, and to put on just amazing quality um, webinars for therapists for really all over the world. So thank you, Joseph. I, you know, so appreciate uh, our, uh, our working relationship. Um, thank you, Leanna. Thank you. And Renee, Renee, say hello. Give a wave. Renee, um, Renee was hired by an organization that I was teaching a webinar for. Um, and that's how we first met, again, fairly early on in the pandemic. Um, and Renee is a technology guru, and he has helped me out of many techni technical glitches, and I've hired him to assist me in some of the webinars that I've taught over the past couple of years. Uh, so thank you, Renee, for all the help that you've offered and for also generously donating your time to be a part of this, um, this book launch. Um, and um, Renee is involved with a wonderful 
a charity called the Children's Reading Connection. So if anyone's looking for a really great charity support, uh, check out the Children's Reading Connection. Um, I want to, of course, thank the many mental health practitioners uh, who are here today uh, to help celebrate the launch of, um, of these two new resources. Uh, but I also really want to thank you for your dedication, your compassion, your commitment to helping children, teens, and families. Um, I so appreciate all that you do, and I know all of us who are here today uh, applaud you and your efforts. I also want to thank the university professors who use these books um, in their courses. Uh, you know, so I, I'm aware that many professors um, assign a project where they um, they ask their students to choose a favorite technique from from these books and to use it with a client and then come back and present to their classes. So thank you to the universe, university professors who support these resources um, and for all that you do. Uh, of course, I want to thank the family and friends who are here today uh, to help us celebrate. You know, my family is here, um, and I know many of the authors have invited their family and friends. So thank you for being a part of this celebration. And now uh, a few words from our fans from all over the world. Hi, my name is Jackie Short from Sydney Centre for Creative Change in Australia. I teach courses to mental health professionals around Australia and internationally and frequently include techniques from Leanna Lowenstein's many books, as you can see here, because I know these techniques can help the children, teens and families that we work with as mental health clinicians. I'm really looking forward to the fourth edition that's coming out and would like to congratulate all the fellow contributors to this, for this great book and really look forward to getting my copy and using some of those methods again soon. Hi, this is Dr. Dida Maltai. I'm a registered psychologist and a PT registered play therapist. And I'm from Istanbul, Turkey. I met with Liana when I was attending my play therapy certificate program at Canadian Play Therapy Association around 2012 in Toronto, Canada. And Liana Lovenstein was one of the um, faculty members there. And since then, I've been using many of Liana's books actually, and they are my go-to resources in my clinical practice. They have been in English for the longest time, so I had to take time and translate them to use them in my clinical practice in Turkish. But now these books are already translated into Turkish, so that now all the Turkish mental health practitioners can also benefit from these books. And they are so valuable and and from my own experience, I strongly believe these books are very helpful for both, I think, beginner as well as seasoned therapists, as they make CBT, I think, more applicable and appealing to children. And the books provide a bunch of creative assessment activities, engagement techniques, as well as uh, they make it in a developmentally sensitive and playful way so that we can use different creative treatment interventions. Um, so I'm so excited because aside from these books, now the new book is actually coming up. I'm so overly excited for that and for the new publication. So looking forward to it. And I want to congratulate all the authors who actually made efforts to make this new book. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Kenneth Yee, Registered Play Therapist Supervisor from Hong Kong. I love this book, the uh, I mean, assessment and treatment activities for children, adolescents and family. I have been using this intervention for my clinical work. I think creative play is very important because uh, it allows children to engage into the process, to be the boss in the in your playroom and in a fun and joyful setting as well. And also they can also uh, resolve their own struggles as well. So I think that's all about wonderful words. Um, I mean, you can find from the book. And thank you so much for all the professionals, their lovely words, 
um, their genuine sharing for all of us. Thank you. Hello, hello, Leanna. Thank you so much for having me and getting to share about your series of books, which I have been using for years. They are wonderful tools for clinicians at any stage in their career. Um, as clinicians, we're often so busy as we prepare to work with clients. And having your books has just been a wonderful tool to have to prepare and offer really fun, engaging activities to use with individuals, use with groups, and use with families. I'm always sharing about your series of books in my trainings um, with my supervisees. I have all your books and I use them uh, regularly with my clients as I treatment plan and prepare to really have that I'm excited and I want to congratulate you and all the other authors on your new upcoming book uh, series uh, four. So I'm just excited to hear about this assessment and uh, tools book that you're going to be using. It's going to be wonderful. So again, congratulations. Hi, hi. I'm my name is Dr. Renda Blom. I'm a registered social worker I'm working in South Africa. I'm the director of RETU training and that is providing play therapy training in the country. And I also have a private practice for now than more than 30 years working with children with emotional problems. So I am extremely fond of Rihanna Lowenstein's books on assessment and treatment activities for children and adolescents. So I use Liana Lowenstein's books in my clinical practice here in South Africa. And I also present her activities uh, in my courses at the Red Shoe uh, Training Center in the country. And therefore, I'm very, very excited about volume four that will come out soon, knowing that um, these activities will even help more children in this country with um, that has emotional problems. And there are lots and lots of therapists that are using uh, Lihana's books and that um, use that in their clinical practice. And, and like I've said, also in the training. I also uh, want to end up by thank you the 75 authors who have contributed to this volume four of assessment and treatment activities for children and adolescents and who were willing to share their creative work. So yeah, that's what I want to say. Thank you. Hi, my name is Hannah San Reed. I'm from Ontario, Canada. I am a play therapist and also a play therapist supervisor and approved provider, so instructor. I'm also a DDP, diet, a dietic developmental psychotherapy trainer and supervisor. And I have to say that it's really, really wonderful that another new volume is coming out. And it just gathers um, so much wisdom from experienced clinicians. And the Leanna is able to put all that together and just to share uh, all those activities with uh, play therapists around the world. I really love how clear on all each activity and you know is um, how to do it how to use it and what's it for I think it's really a wonderful resource for all the play therapists young and old new and experienced and another thing I want to mention about that is I also train uh, play therapy in China in Singapore and uh, other parts of the world and some of the Liana's books have been translated into Chinese and so I've been introducing some of the activities for other clinicians from the world to use them and it's just wonderful everybody um, loved all the activities and I'm um, and want I would like to introduce more so I would say congratulations to all of you who have done such an awesome job um, to give this wonderful resource to uh, to all the uh, clinicians so thank you Leanna for organizing this um, just wonderful wonderful project thank you Hi everyone, 
everyone. My name is Lisa Dion. I am a a registered play therapist, as well as a registered play therapist supervisor. I am the founder and president of the Synergetic Play Therapy Institute, the creator of Synergetic Play Therapy, and also the host from the Lessons from the Playroom podcast. And I am here to celebrate Leanna Lowenstein's fourth edition of one of my favorite book series. So I've got one of them in my hand here. I'm referring to the assessment and treatment activities for children, adolescent and families um, series. Uh, I love this series of books so much that it's actually part of the reading in my certified synergetic play therapy certification course. Congratulations to all of the contributors to the fourth edition. What a fabulous contribution to our field. And just so grateful, Liana, for putting together these series, these uh, these interventions, the way that this book has, is formatted, the creativity, all of it has just been such a an instrumental aspect to my own work and also to all the students that I work with. So congratulations to you. Congratulations to all of the contributors. What a what an what an awesome uh, to have a, the next edition from already fabulous book series. Such beautiful, beautiful words. Thank you so much. Um, so as therapists were sending me their techniques, uh, I had an opportunity to try many of them out with my own clients. And that has led to many magical moments of healing. And I want to share one of the techniques. Um, this one is called wrap it up, uh, contributed by my dear friend and colleague, Claire Milliton. Um, and in this technique, um, it's an intervention, wrap it up, to be used in a last session or in the final stage of therapy with clients, either just with the child individually or with their family, to help them um, process their therapeutic journey. Um, and they create a rap song using uh, a, an app called Auto Rap. And so I'm going to show you um, an actual session. And I want to first thank the family that uh, so graciously agreed to be videotaped and to allow me to share this video with all of you. And of course, thank Claire for this wonderful creative intervention. So this is Wrap It Up. It's my last session of therapy today. So there are things I want to say. I've learned to overcome my fears and take away my worries and fears. I was able to learn some madman skills to get me calm that helped me stop worrying about my dad and my mom. Positive thinking and cooking even helped me lots and got me over my negative thoughts. To everyone listening, here's my message to you. I felt lost and scared of and hopeless too. Therapy can help in lots of cool ways. Use these skills for happier days. Mom and Dad are so very proud of you. We hope this rhyme helps everyone too. Peace out. So amazing. So thank you, Claire. Um, and, uh, and again, thank you to this family. They were so amazing to work with. And I think it just shows you the, uh, just how um, engaging and creative these interventions are. And now the moment that many of you have been waiting for, uh, we have some giveaways. Uh, so because this is volume four, we're giving away four copies of the book. And we're also giving away, so Core Wellness, the uh, sponsors of this launch uh, is giving away uh, an all access pass to um, webinars that I've taught for them. Uh, it's a, like a $2,000 value of webinars from 2021 and through 2022. So let's see who the lucky winners are.
So congrats to all the lucky winners. Uh, now, um, if you were interested in buying any of the books, uh, we have a special deal on, you can get 25% off all the books. Uh, and if you buy four or more books, you get an extra 10% off. You can go to my website to purchase the books. And this offer is valid until March 31st. Uh, for those of you who are in Australia, my Australian book distributor, Silver Eye, uh, is also offering a 25% discount until March 31st with code CHAMP25, and you use that code at checkout. So that's uh, Silver Eye, and you can get the link to Silver Eye Bookstore on my website on the book order page. Uh, and then for the rest of you who are outside of North America, so if you live um, in some part of the world, outside of North America, outside of Australia, then you can order books from Gazelle Book Services. They too are offering a special deal, 25% off with code CHAMP25 until March 20, 31st. And again, you can get these links on my website on the book order page. Uh, so please support, you know, these smaller booksellers, Silver Eye and Gazelle, um, you know, it's, of course, it's easy to order books from Amazon, but we really want to support these mental health booksellers, help them to survive because these are tough times for everybody. Uh, so please show your, show your support to these smaller, um, smaller bookstores. Um, I also encourage you to check out the many, many amazing books and resources developed by the contributors to um, the book and the bonus book. Um, many of them are uh, multi-published authors themselves. So as you're reading through the book um, and using activities, when you find something that's helpful, read their bio, check out their resources. There's so much out there, so much creativity. Um, and feel free to to share your experiences um, on social on social media. You know, if you're using these resources and they're helpful in your clinical work, let other practitioners know what's been helpful to you. Help spread the word. Uh, now we know everyone loves free stuff, uh, and again, you know, it's it's tough out there for so many therapists who you know may not be able to afford purchasing these resources. So um, this bonus book is a free resource on my website. Many of the contributors to this free bonus book are here with us today to celebrate. Um, again, I want to thank you for sharing your creative work. Um, so you can check out the bonus book, um, this free ebook that's on my website called Fair Favorite Therapeutic Activities for Children, Adolescents, and Families. Practitioners share the most effective interventions. <clears throat> it's been a free resource that's available on my website for many years, but it's recently been, um, been updated with these new uh, interventions. So check it out. Um, I want to end um, by, um, you know, there's lots of stress and, um, and trauma out there. Um, and again, I want to thank all the contributors for um, so generously sharing their creative work and for helping practitioners to, um, to find interventions that will help heal. Um, and I love this quote by Helen Keller. Uh, Although the world is full of suffering, it is also full of overcoming it. Um, and so thank you to the practitioners for all you do, to the contributors of these two new resources um, for helping uh, therapists to help others overcome uh, their, their, their difficulty and their pain. Thank you for being here today to help us celebrate uh, it means so much to me, and I know it means a lot to our book contributors uh, for you to be here to show your support. So thank you for coming. Um, and this is this uh, book launch has been recorded. Uh, so we know there's a lot of people out there who weren't able to make it today. Uh, so we will uh, make this available uh, to others. So thank you again for coming. Thank you. <laughs>